Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of multiplying decimals. This should be helpful for anyone looking for a quick refresher, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, really, no matter what class or goal you are working towards, here are a couple of examples to get this down. Let's jump into number one, where we have six and seven tenths times four. Now, the first thing that we're going to do when we have a multiplication problem that involves decimals, we're going to remove any decimals within the problem. So we're going to multiply just like we would if we had whole numbers. Let's set this up and rewrite number one as 67 times four. So again, remove any decimals. We're going to worry about placing the decimal in our answer once we multiply. So once we remove the decimals, we can multiply. So we'll start with four times seven, which is 28. So carry that two. And then we have four times six, which is 24, plus that two is 26. Now we're done multiplying, so we can place our decimal in our answer. So we take a look at the original problem and see how many digits are behind or are to the right of a decimal. Well, one, we have this seven right here to the right of a decimal. So our answer is going to have one digit to the right or behind the decimal. So one digit would be this eight, so we can place our decimal in between the six and the eight. Our final answer, 26 and eight tenths. Let's move on to number two, where we have five and 21 hundredths times three and eight tenths. So let's remove the decimals and rewrite this problem. So 521 times 38. Now we're ready to multiply. So eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. Put our six, carry the one. And then eight times five is 40, plus that one is 41. So we are done with the eight and we are done with this carried one. So we're going to move over to the three. We're moving one place value to the left so we need our placeholder zero here. And now we multiply starting with three times one, which is three. Three times two is six. And then three times five is 15. Now we add. So eight plus zero is eight. Six plus three is nine. One plus six is seven. 4 plus 5 is 9, and then we have a 1. So once we get to this point, we look at our original problem and see how many digits are to the right or are behind a decimal. Well, this 2 would be 1, this 1 would be 2, and then this 8 would be 3. So we have 1, 2, three digits behind or to the right of a decimal. So our answer needs three digits to the right of the decimal. So we have one, two, three digits. Our decimal is going to go between the nine and the seven. Our final answer, 19 and 798 thousandths. So there you have it. There's a quick review of multiplying decimals. Remove the decimals, multiply as you normally would with whole numbers, and then place your decimal in the answer. Look at the original problem, see how many digits are to the right or are behind a decimal, and then your answer is going to match that. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.